Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Last time we handled the South Medina and cleared out the Nasif Greenhouse without destroying it. Let's head over to the North Medina now. The Cairo Arcology melds architecture and ecology to create a living and working space that meets all citizens' needs. The North Medina houses... Well, there we go. An order mosque and some apartments. So, let's head up these stairs before we follow the signage. Hey, it's Leo! Chicago! Someone put you on my tail? You're a long way from home. I'm on Dr. Nassif's tail, the program we came out of, Apostle Corps. It's based here in Cairo. Ah, uh, this is some coincidence. Either there's a contract on my head... Or maybe the Omar have an interest in the program that created us, too. What do they have you doing out here? I told you before. Protection. Protection from what? Anybody. A lot of people don't like Omar. Most people think they're freaks. Right now, supposedly, these Knights Templar fanatics are planning a raid. So I'm waiting for them. All by yourself? That's my assignment, but these cyborgs can fight when they have to. I just wish we had a better tip, like when the raid's gonna happen. Then maybe I could get some sleep. Who tipped you off to begin with? Someone in the village. But the Templar command is in the Arcology. They have a recruiting kiosk there. We can't move people into New Cairo too easily. Maybe I'll do some sightseeing in New Cairo. I'll let you know if I come across anything. Yeah? If it was me, I'd sneak up on the place and eavesdrop. Omar's schematics show a vent near the Tarsus School on 107, West Wall. One of the shafts leads to the kiosk. You could listen from inside the shaft. Be careful, though. Arcology support systems are secured against pests, whether transgenic or human. One thing I am is dependable. Goal received. Templar raid. Spy on Templars. <laughs> Eavesdrop on the Templar recruiting kiosk on Arcology level 107. Look for a secure vent shaft near the Tarsus Academy. All right. Let's hang a left, pick up a multi-tool, good times. Now let's talk Leo to death. No sign of trouble so far. A Templar would just as soon lynch a merc like you or me because of our biomods. If there's a problem, I plan to fight. A Templar would just as soon lynch a merc like you or me because of our biomods. If there's a problem, I plan to fight. Alright, looks like he's done. That's the traitor. Let's talk to the protector first. Scan complete. You are only minimally biomodified. We can help correct this. Speak with the traitor if you wish to transact. You are welcome to purchase technologies from us. Your architectures are impressive. State of the art. Scan complete. You are only minimally biomodified. We can help correct this. All right, let's read this data cube. Plague 11 cure. Business associates indicate that a cure has been developed by Arcology scientists, a nanite counteragent for aerial dispersal. The research is hidden in a private facility in Flight Bay 24 on Arcology level 111. Fortunately, all the Omar have a friend in common at the terminal's desk. She will happily grant access to agents acting on our behalf. Key code, Hangar Bay 24, scored in d stored in Data Vault. Let's talk to the trader. You sure got a prime location for your business here. We appreciate your resourcefulness in seeking us out. I guess we'll see if it was worth my time and effort. You will appreciate our merchandise. You are a welcome customer, having helped us in the past. Perhaps you can offer your services once more. Go on, you've got my attention. A Templar-run facility in Flight Bay 24 on Arcology Level 110 has a number of classified programs. Most importantly, a body armor project for Templar Paladins. Also, a counter agent to the pollution that causes Plague 11 has been invented, though its deployment has been inexplicably delayed. The counter agent sounds like something that would interest the villagers. How do I get into this facility? First, you'll need a pass to enter the Arcology proper. Take this one. Thanks. Then talk to the woman in the air terminal information booth. She works for us. We will tell her that you are coming. Say to her simply that you have a friend in common. Once inside the terminal, locate the armor and upload the schematic. You will also find your cure. Okay. What are you selling? I 
may have to black market biomod canisters which enable non-PSO cam functionality. Also, three concussion prox mines which you can plant on any flat surface to be detonated by movement within close range. As a preferred customer, you may purchase items at half price. I only need one, but I guess I have to take them both. Give me the black market biomods. Yeah, appreciate good customers. So with that, I can upgrade my electrostatic discharge to level three. Now I just need three more standard canisters. Yeah, I want to get I want to get vision enhancement, so I'm going to hold out for standard canisters now. One thing I am is dependable. Okay, how about you get out of my way? Let's head down these stairs now and continue toward the mosque and the apartments. No more congestion. No more fatigue. Use Vitatech Cure 11. You, sir, you look like a discriminating person. Someone who knows innovation when he sees it. Where are you going with this? Are you tired of breathers? Are you sick of the Plague 11 cough? Have you had it with dizzy spells? I want to tell you about an amazing new elixir. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I really don't, uh... Combining ancient herbal remedies with state-of-the-art nanopathology research, we have produced the first and only anti-plague 11 tonic, and infused it into this special cola drink to make it a delicious way to fight the effects of the Nanite Cloud, Fight Attack Cure 11. Yeah, that's fascinating, but... Today only, we're offering a special price. Would you like to make a purchase? No thanks. No thanks. You owe it to yourself and your family to purchase the only real Plague 11 cure. Why is he still wearing a breather? Who knows. Hey, that's obviously the Order Mosque. Can hear a spider bot. Up above me, sounds like. Over here, there's another multi tool. By the mosque entrance. Yeah, that going into the mosque is a map change. I don't really want to do that. The apartments are over there. There's something going on past the mosque. Let's hit the public terminal before we do anything else. Attention, residents of Old Cairo. The particle haze you are experiencing does not pose a health threat. Repeat, the haze appears to contain only mildly parasitic nanoscale fallout. Cover your mouth and nose when traveling outdoors, but rest assured, the danger is minimal. Arcology scientists are presently investigating cleanup alternatives. Weak Max Coffee Shops. Bright, clean, your sanctuary from life's worries. Aerostats protect every one of our stores, so you can be certain that your latte is grid-free. Within our protective barrier is a cozy cafe atmosphere, as sealed and secure as any WTO arcology. Quicks, a taste of class. Only the select qualify for admission into Cairo's Tarsus Academy. Is your son or daughter our next star? You owe it to them and to the world to find out. Tarsus Academy, preparing the next generation for the world. As the time for the first ever WTO Order Summit draws near, Vera Maxwell, the executive commander of the SSC, runs through final preparations and strategies. We've got our guards in place and every eventuality planned for. My troops are ready for anything. In a short time, the SSC will be put to the test on the international stage. Tension in Trier right now is building as members of both organizations flow into a city already exhausted by conflict. Attention residents of Old Cairo. Okay, we're done there. Let's head to the apartment building. Take your nonsense mm, what somewhere do I see? else. An exceptional young man. Modified, correct? Lovingly grown in an enclave. And now you step into the dangerous world. Stay ready, Tariq. Am I about to get jumped or something? Such a prize. Hmm. A shame to send you straight to the chop shop. Perhaps you heard that I'm hiring a mercenary. Yeah. I am interested in the security chief in the unmarked suite on level 108 in the Arcology. His tissues are heavy with biotech. Beta biocules, the next rev of the PSO chem architecture, who knows? Maybe something beyond. I have a client who will pay handsomely to study one of his biomods. How do you expect me to steal a biomod? 
kill him and bring you the body? Just kill him and my people in the morgue will remove the components I need. I like how you think. You will be well paid. Here, you will need this pass to enter the arcology. Goal received. Harvest biomods. Kill security chief. Obviously, we won't be doing this one. Kill the security chief in the corporate suites on Arcology level 108 so the harvester may obtain this man's unique biomods. Let's keep talking. I have always wondered what they do in there. A sign of the times. A business conceals its name and no one looks twice. They think they can hide their technology from the harvester. They are wrong. Come back when you have some news. I will be waiting. You know what you've been asked to do. Come back when you have some news. Okay, let's go. Let's talk to Tariq. The harvester will discuss. Okay. More meat for the chop shop. We get good prices now that the Omar moved in. You will not last long without protection. Everyone is a price. A price you can get. A price you must pay. Very simple. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Alright. Let's talk to these two now. It's so good to see you again, darling. Any news about that apartment? Apartment? Oh, that one. Already leased. Sorry. Are you really trying to find me a place to live in our college? Don't you want to be able to see each other more often? It's a lot of money. Will attract my husband's attention if I don't handle this properly. He's pretty clueless, but has started asking questions about certain expenses. I'm stuck out here. <coughs> I haven't been able to work on any of my poetry. I was always meant to be an arcology citizen. No one here will ever appreciate my writing. I will, sweetie. Hey, thanks for being here for me. I love this, and I love us. But you know that I've got to get back. I'll send word when I find an apartment. Okay. Let's check things out around here. I see nothing, so let's talk to the woman. This constant haze is awful. I can't wait until I'm back inside the Arcology's atmospheric barriers. I feel a little dizzy. <coughs> I don't know how much longer I can stand breathing the air out here in the Medina. Living in a nanite cloud is a strange choice, but I guess you get what you pay for. This constant haze is all Now let's talk to the dying poet. If only I could get away from all this. I just know I could be a poet. <coughs> I just don't know how much longer I can wait. This plague is all I've ever known, and I get sick so easily. All I want is a life in our heart. I don't care where I have to live. I'm being punished for being born into a poor family. I'm being punished for being born into a poor family. And let's read this data cube. It's another come to work in the archaeology. Well, let's head up the next flight of stairs. Hey! <clears throat> It's Nasif's apartment. Let's roll in here and chat with him. Energy cell on the shelf, which, lo and behold, I do have a use for. Um. For God's sake, leave me alone. Yes, I have closed the greenhouse. There was a murder there. The murder of my brother. The greenhouse will stay closed until I am certain that the Nasif family is safe. I'm sorry about your tragedy. Sorry? Who are you to be sorry? You killed the parents and now you come to kill the uncle? Well, the Nasif family is fighting back. Layla escaped and you won't find her. I know your niece. She was my instructor at Tarsus Academy in Seattle. I'm not here to kill anyone. No? Then what? Do you know who's after my family? Everyone, as far as I can tell. Funny. Ha ha, and meanwhile my daughter Ava goes missing at the Tarsus Academy in Arcology. All of us hunted like greasels. Tarsus Academy? Right, where Layla went to school. She helped her cousin get on the same track, to a decent life. 
Now we are targets. Maybe I can help out. I'm on my way to the Arcology. And you are a Tarsus man? Yes? Well, perhaps you can have a word with the headmaster. I will give you my parental code, 74652. Tarsus is on level 107. Tell the fat bum I want him to return my calls. Where is my girl? Why couldn't Layla find her last night? Interesting discovery. So Dr. Nassif has a cousin at the Tarsus Academy in New Cairo. The visitation pass will let you enter the school on level 107 of the Arcology. Find the cousin Eva and see if she leads you to Apostle Call. Goal received. Dr. Nassif, investigate Tarsus. So... Well, this goal just popped up and no one's talked to me about it yet. Primary goal, cure for plague, uncover conspiracy. Order, search Flight Bay 24, Arcology Level 110 for evidence about a possible cover-up surrounding a cure for Plague 11. WTO, look for clues to Layla Nassif's whereabouts at the Tarsa School on Level 107 of the Arcology. Missing students, check on Eva. Check on Layla's cousin Eva at the Tarsus School on level 107 of the Arcology. Power Armor Spec, enter Hangar 24. Tell the woman at the Arcology Air Terminal on level 110 that you have a friend in common so she will unlock Hangar 24. Find the Templar Power Armor Spec and the Omar will share their analysis of the schematic with you. And Templar Raid, Spy on Templars, we've already covered. So let's talk Nasif to death. I bet we're being targeted by the WTO. They would love to see the greenhouse fail. Two ammo clips on the shelf there. I just hope Eva's safe. They came in the night. I couldn't see their faces. Now Garai, my brother. Well, at least it was over quickly. There's no such thing as police anymore. Just thugs with uniforms. I bet we're being targeted by the WTO. They would love to see the All right, in here, there's some food. I can use one multi-tool to get a data cube and a med kit. Not a good idea. Always good to read data cubes. I have no use for the med kit, but... Tarsus Academy Visitors Pass. Tarsus Academy always welcomes visits from its students' parents. Parent involvement is key in academic success. In order to maintain a safe campus, we ask that you bring the accompanying Visitors Pass whenever you come to see your children. Of course, we already have the code from Maschini himself. Let's see what's out here. Oh, this is just a bathroom. With nothing useful inside it. And out here, however... You can see Leo and the Omar over there. And some binoculars on his balcony. That's it. All right, well, let's head back out and head up to the next level. Assuming I can find the stairs. Here they are. We got a spider bot in here. coming towards me now, so... One whack, down it goes. Beautiful. Whoever disabled it cannot- You're dead, freak! Uh, <coughs> fire in the hole! <coughs> and there we have two Templar Paladins. See there, that one dropped a pistol. This one had a sniper rifle and an, and an ammo clip. Looks like that's it. The the spider bot is in in the way, and it seems like I won't be able to get to it. But oh, here's. What would have been our alternate way in. That just looks like a big drop. So let's check out this apartment. Spider bomb in the bathroom along with a med kit. Out here in the main room, 
There is a data cube. Archer's hidden office. Lieutenant Archer will need your aid soon in executing the final stage of his mission. Come well armed and await him in his sanctuary in the midst of those polluted little monsters. The key for his secret office is attached to this message. Key code Headmaster Secret Room stored in Data Vault. Interesting. So. We can burn a multi tool to get ammo, energy cell, and a med kit. No, thank you, not needed. In here, there's a sniper rifle, an ammo clip, some binoculars. Ah, yes. Looks like the Templars had a bead on the Omar. Let's read this data cube after picking up that can of soda. Surveillance Report 49, 1940 hour. Oh, let's start here. 1430 hours. Unidentified man, German, seen making a delivery to the Omar trader. 1600 hours. The Omar have been joined by the Tarsus subject Leo Jankowski. 1940 hours. Tarsus subject Alex D has had some dealing with the Omar. Seems familiar with Jankowski. Interesting. Okay, if we head out to the main room, we see a bunch of soda and a message. It sounds like operations are going well. Show those Omar beasts we will not tolerate their pollution. And that's just the first step in our plans for this city. Once the right people are running things, every citizen will wake up. They'll finally see how important the battle for purity really is. It sounds like okay. operations are going well. Show those Omar beasts we will not tolerate their pollution. Let's head all the way back down out of the apartments. Let's first let's go tell uh, tell Leo about the bad guys we just Why dealt with. When simply drinking this tonic can counter all of the nanites effect. I had a run-in with some Templars in the apartment building across from the mosque. Their history. Maybe there won't be any raid. Not likely. The Templars have cells all over the Medina. But maybe you got the one who would have tipped the balance. Thanks for sticking your neck out. I'll split my first combat bonus with you if these Omar make it through the raid. No sign of trouble so far. Okay. I guess that's good. Before we head into the mosque, let's... Breather manufacturers have tried to keep this stuff under wraps. They know it will cut into them Let's head past the terminal to this area. Back here. They look friendly. You're welcome to listen in. Just don't disturb the worshippers. Oh, looks like Her Holiness's order kiosk. My last gig was in Detroit. They have one of those things on every corner. They call it a presence. Looks like a plain old hologram to me. Can't complain, I guess. When I work the slums, I get hazard pay. I'm starting to believe some of that stuff myself, actually. It's just saturation. Finally, your brain just gives up. See, we all think we're independent and make up our own minds, but we're really just a mishmash of everything that gets thrown at us. That's post-collapse war for you. The objective is to seize the territory inside our heads. Serious. Another week of this, and I'm finished. You're welcome to listen in. Just don't disturb the worship. Let's talk to this one. She apparently has nothing to say to me. Okay. I'm not sure where this vent shaft takes me. Somewhere restricted. Ah, it's the harvester's kiosk. We'll leave that alone for now. Alright, let's listen to her holiness and then talk to the other worshippers. You have been conditioned by this society. You suffer from the sauna, my seekers. Hindu yogis have also warned their students of this flaw. You are too attached to the superficial and the material. Let me help you discover your true selves. Turn away from this false sense of self-limitation to know your true self. Hello, sir. Hey there. Do not spread corruption and disorder. Acknowledge your responsibilities to your fellows and to the Earth. 
doing otherwise means you pollute the world with what Muslims have called facade or earthly corruption in following a path other than the surge. Do not deny the call to order that you feel in your spirit and you will help to eliminate facade. There's food in the basket. Pick your nonsense somewhere else. There's an... Turn your attention away from creation toward that which is uncreated. Ignore the human-made hierarchies and material miseries. As you achieve this state of consciousness, you will achieve samadhi and be ecstatically transported outside the bounds and limits imposed upon your spirit by today's society's terrible disorder. Got an energy cell behind her holiness, which I don't actually want to carry. Take your nonsense somewhere else. Shed your worldly connections. Develop your fur card. It enables this. you to distinguish between true and false, between real and fiction, between order and chaos. Deep in your heart, you know the path you seek. You must relearn to access it by turning your back on this materialistic society. The order donation chest has some credits in it, which I'd like to get to. I think I need to do it while his back is turned. Shed your worldly connections. Develop your fur card. It enables you to distinguish or are you just out of your head? between real and fiction, between you order and chaos. Deep in your really? heart, you That's know the path you You must relearn to access it by turning your back on this materialistic We're society. good. She said everything, so let's talk to these three. Ten. Listen, Her Holiness has much to teach us. The order opened my eyes and saved me from the wicked consumerism that was unbalancing my life. You have I was once an investment banker in the archaeology, but now I teach yoga here in the Medina. Do not sp I was once an investment banker in the archaeology, All right. but now I teach yoga Two here more. in the Medina. Shed your worldly connections. Develop this your one's got nothing to say. To distinguish between the woman won't talk. I spend many hours a day here listening to the wise words of Her Holiness. Ten. Sometimes my family does not understand my devotion. My wife wants me to try to get a job in archaeology. She doesn't understand that working there will only bring our family more materialism and chaos. You have been con I want to live and work honestly, as Her Holiness teaches we should. Ten. I try to explain the ways of the order to my family, but they just dismiss me. Not everyone is ready to begin their search. Living in the Medina is not always easy, but the order brings me much peace. I must return to my meditations now. Be still and let her holiness into your heart. I want to live and work honestly as her holiness... Alright, let's head into the order mosque now. And get that done. Then, I believe, we'll be ready to tackle the archaeology. We've already gotten passes from two different sources. But first, we'll have to submit to a weapon deactivation, which is fine. This is a weapons-free zone. To enter, you must submit to a deactivation procedure. I'll transmit the encrypted safety lock byte codes to freeze all your weapons on or in your person. When you leave, sensors will reactivate everything you've got. Okay. Thanks. You're clear to enter now. All right. Let's the WTO indifference to nanite pollution is the reason for the plague that has decimated the village. If you and Billy can help the locals, maybe you can win their trust and get some information on Dr. Nassif. <sighs> All right. We can go left or right. I guess I'll go right first. <coughs> 50 credits on the table. Two 25 credit chits. Two med kits and a basket down here. Let's go down these stairs. Cafeteria. Oh. Thank heaven for the church. If it wasn't for the order, I would have nothing. Nothing. Cheetah. You just have to live one day at a time. My brother died from Plague 11. You wouldn't believe what that did to my father. <sighs> Too many trials. 
It's horrible. You go out there to do something for your family and you're willing to work, no matter how hard. Whatever it takes to get into a walled enclave. But you're worthless. That's what they teach you. You're not even worth five minutes of their time. <sighs> Too many trials. I just have to believe in her holiness. Order will prevail. Chita. Thank heaven for the church. Alright, let's hack the soda machine. Since I don't think anyone here can turn hostile. That's handy. There's another can of soda on that table. Maybe it is a judgment on us. There's another one. Someone in the arcology started that rumor so that we'd blame ourselves. Everything has a reason. They think Plague Eleven's just another punishment for us being lazy and poor. They cannot be so wicked as that. No one chooses to live in the Medina. Exactly. They do all the choosing. First, I'm not from the right family. Now, they shut me out because I'm sick. No one works their way up from Plague Eleven. Then why am I sick? I exercise, eat right, I always wear my breather when I'm out in the Medina. But when did you start using it? Only after years of breathing this air, just like me. We didn't know any better. Then by the time they start getting the word out, we were already sick. Sometimes I don't know how long I can keep fighting this. <coughs> Hey, don't give up. Someone will come up with a cure. Maybe one of the Nasifs. They have some real brains in that family. Candy bar there. Let's talk to these guys. It's rough, but we can't give in. If they were fair about letting people live in our college, no one would have to worry about the swell at all. No use complaining now. That's not going to cure me. I always wonder, though, when did the Arcology leadership know? Did they tell us right away? It's even possible they waited to tell us because they wanted to see how people reacted to exposure. I bet they aren't even working on a cure. And who could blame them? None of their families ever get sick. At least we've got breathers now. I hope they're enough to protect my children. I bet they aren't even working on I have been sick for years now. I have good days and bad days. No matter what, though, it never goes away. <coughs> we didn't know. Who would think that the air could eventually kill you? It is hard to put up with this sometimes. It is hard to put up with this sometimes. All right, let's keep going down here. Too many trials. Let's check in here. Got another person to talk to. I'm here to see a doctor and nobody else. Don't bother me about my beliefs. Another can of soda over here. Every time I come here, I get two prescriptions. One for breather filters, one for meditation. You never see the seekers getting sick, do you? I wonder if they invented the plague to drive people to desperation. The sicker you get, the harder it is not to believe. You want to believe, you can think the pain away. Without pain, what use would we have for religion? Enough. You're wearing me out. Enough. You're wearing me out. There's a lot going on in here. I'm frankly, maybe a little bit lost. Okay. I got a multi tool over here under the stairs, but. It won't stack with the ones I already have. Dumb. Two ammo clips behind those barrels. There's the infirmary. Before that, let's head into here. We've got a med bot. Looks like nothing else. And then stairs back up. Let's check up here before we examine the infirmary. In here, we've got an energy cell and a can of soda. 
and then the doors to the main mosque. And we've completed our circle. Okay. Oh, there's a multi-tool on the rafter. Awesome. It also won't stack. They did a piss-poor job with polish in this game. It annoys me every time. Anyway... Into the infirmary we go. Plague 11 casualty, unconscious. Plague 11 casualty, unconscious. It's like we got a doctor and two Maybe other people. They that I'm sick, they let me in. I wish it could be that way, baby. I guess I just wasn't smart enough. Nonsense. <laughs> Why won't they at least let us in the city? The air's not so bad inside the mosque. You'll start to feel better. Just get some rest. Forget about Tarsus. It's a very selective program. Okay, let's talk to the doctor first. You look fine to me. Anything I can do to help? Just stay out of the way. Too many patients. No time for chit-chat. As you wish. I'm looking for someone named Billy Adams. I heard she's in this mosque. The woman from Seattle, yes. Where are you from? You Cairo? Why come here? The air in the Medina is polluted. Is it that serious? Just take a look outside. It's nanite dust these people breathe, from nanite swell 11. Particles like little insects, unaffected by the wind. Probably a leak from a pre-collapsed laboratory that's been forgotten for two decades. <sighs> these poor people. Your interruptions are keeping me from my patients. Do not interfere. I'm doing what I can to ease their suffering. I have work to do. I'm doing what I can to ease their suffering. All right, we got a med kit back here. Let's talk to these people. What? I don't mean to interrupt. You startled me there. I guess I'm a little preoccupied. What's wrong? Well, it's my daughter, Mina. Look at her. <coughs> oh, it's okay, Mom. I'll get better. Ever since she didn't get into the Tarsus Academy, her infection has been getting worse. She should be up on level 107 right now, in her own dorm room, studying and breathing filtered air. She's always been such a good student. I wish there was something I could do. That's very kind. But unless you're on the admissions committee at the Academy, or unless you're someone who can hack in and put Mina Amir on the acceptance list, there's not really much to do except wait and pray. <laughs> really, Mom, I'll be fine. <laughs> Some of us still worship the old gods, despite everything that's happened. She went into Tarsus, huh? I'll see what I can do. Goal received. Mina Amir, hack enrollment. Hack the Tarsus Academy computer system to enroll a Medina child named Mina Amir. My sister went through this with her son. Now I understand. Poor girl. Damn that school. I don't mind bending the rules in order to save her life. My sister went through this- mm. Stop! Oh, I don't feel good. Why won't you leave me alone? Mm, quit! I need to rest. Mm, quit! I need to- Alright, let's head up to the mosque proper now. The mosque's main room is actually big and open, which doesn't happen much in this game. Arcology. Interesting why there are, why there are arcology signs, I don't really know. Anyway, there's not really anything in here. So let's just circle around and make sure I'm right about that, then get close to these two. I need to return in time for the summit. Just a show for the media. I'm not so sure. Her holiness sounded sincere when I spoke with her in Germany. A co-dominion with the WTO? Not in my lifetime. History moves in fits and starts. Obviously, you're too young to remember pre-collapse society. 
I watched two centuries of progress vanish during two minutes on the evening news. Destruction, that's easy. But Her Holiness and Chairman Dumier think they can reunify the planet with a simple decree. The faithless are easy to manipulate politically. And remember, the faithless are the majority. We should not forget de Tocqueville's insight. If a man does not submit to faith, he will desire a firm, tyrannical shape for society. It's not too late to reform the church. Perhaps I will find out when I get to Trier. Alright, let's talk to them first. I don't believe we've met. Luminen Samart from the German Shard. My pleasure. I was hoping one of Billy's former classmates would show up. So, I already got a lead on this epidemic in Old Cairo. Courtesy of the Omar and the Medina, I've got some information about a possible cure. Personally, I'm not going to waste my time saving the planet until we find out where Dr. Nassif is hiding. Hayoga Chen is a fine seeker. She has a strong heart. But a strong heart often runs contrary to a seeker's purpose. Do you think Dr. Nassif is still in Cairo? We have good reason to believe that Apostle Corps' headquarters are in Cairo. This is where she would go looking for help. Goal complete. Report to Billy. Let's talk to Saman some more first. You disagree with the way High Augur Chen is doing things? Amicably, to be sure. It's mostly a doctrinal dispute that stands between us. What about Her Holiness? Doesn't she decide what the church stands for? Her Holiness and I amicably disagree also. My shard in Germany has a profound respect for the founding doctrines of the Order. What we don't understand are these recent revisions and reversals that seem to excuse the resurgence through the WTO of blind commercial interests. You sound pretty upset. My seekers and I are most loyal to the doctrines laid down by Her Holiness after the collapse. What we propose, very openly, is a greater purity of interpretation of these founding principles. What brings the German Luminen to Cairo? Let's just say that if this investigation of Apostle Corps does indeed uncover technologies for the modification and co-modification of human bodies, I don't entirely trust the current leadership to destroy them. What are you going to do? Report the truth to my seekers, to true seekers everywhere. What more would be necessary? You want to hear more? Good. Let me explain how the Order should rebuild post-collapse society. I'm listening. Her Holiness was correct in the beginning to describe the problem as one of human growth. Human growth was impeded in the old society. Almost all men carry out the purposes of other men rather than their own, making them feel impotent in action. Bertrand Russell. So? So, Russell understood that people are creatures of impulse. The role of political philosophy should be to control the destructive impulses with constructive, creative ones. For example, allow each citizen to direct his own growth. I thought the Order was a spiritual movement. A spiritual movement about reconstituting the self, improving the self, finding balance with the world. Her Holiness knows that no balance is possible if the old world returns. Global capital, teratogenic science, universal wage slavery. Have you ever considered what is unique about post-collapse society? Hmm? Trans-territoriality. Most political entities coexist on a global scale. The WTO has its enclaves, we have our settlements and churches. You're not the first global church. The point is that governmental units need not be territorial. The proof is all around us. After the collapse, communication grids came back up before industry. So what has evolved are many global associations incapable of seizing very much territory. If the order isn't territorial, why do you maintain an armed guard? Military power will never vanish. What we hope, and Her Holiness once agreed with me, is that a global police force would end territorial wars and be just that. Police, like the Seekers in the Medina. But who's police force? Not important, so long as it knows how to keep order. Seek the way, my friend. Enough for now. Please leave me to my thoughts. I know a little something about this plague. If you go outside, try to breathe through your nose. Seek the way, my Okay, friend. let's talk to Billy now. Sometimes High Augur Chen has her head in the clouds. You might as well do what the Order wants. You might turn up a lead. The Nassifs run the greenhouse. 
Chen means well, but sometimes her methods aren't the most effective. The order is on the right path. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Let's head through here. Well, Saman's heading up those stairs. I'm going to get all the food off this table. Looks like just two pieces. Another one on this desk. If you're ready to depart the mosque, go ahead. The scanners in the doorway will reactivate all your. Oh, weapons. there's an entrance to the archaeology here. The unlock weapon scan is automatic. I don't have to do anything. When you're ready to go, just open the door. The automatic weapons reactivation systems take care of everything. If you're ready to depart the mosque, go ahead. The scanners in the doorway will reactivate. All right. Another piece of food on that table. That looks like everything. I did forget to talk to the entrance guard, so I'm going to run and do that right quick. I suspect he's a clone of the other one, but I don't know that for sure. If you're ready to head out, just exit the area. The unlock weapon scan will automatically reactivate everything. Just doing my job. When you're done here, you just need to leave. The exit sensors will take care of weapon reactivation. I'm trying to keep it safe around here. Just open the door when you're ready. The safety locks will be removed when you pass through the exit. Okay. When you're done here, you just need to leave. The exit sensors will take care of weapon All right, let's go over to the archaeology side of the mosque now. Now that we have a pass, I guess we can just enter the archaeology through here. But first, I do believe it's important for me to check these rooms a little more thoroughly. There's an ammo clip behind that bench. That's good. Hey, 50 credits on a chit under that desk. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's follow Saman up here. Let's see what's going on. Uh, looks like he just has an office. Multi-tool under his desk. Which is the right kind to stack, thank goodness. He's got some binoculars on his desk. Enough for now. Please leave me to my thoughts. Two multi-tools to get in here. And it looks like I do want to. Got a glass destabilizer mod, an energy cell, a hundred credits, and another energy cell. Okay. I think we can call that good. So with the mosque clear, I'm gonna go through the map change to the arcology. The unlock weapon screen is automatic. Since I have a pass now. Biomodification makes the Omar look monstrous, but they still run a thriving business in black market armaments. So we have arrived at Arcology levels 107 and 108, and I am going to call that a video. So I'll make a new perma save here at the start of the Arcology, and I will simply say this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.